Welcome to Boys Episode 90. Another week, another episode. Hey, it's officially the 90s, guys. Oh, shit. Oh. These are going to be the best 10 episodes of my life. So do I have to leave ever. the first three? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get it the fuck out. You come I, I, back in 93, baby face. All right. See you guys. Dylan sparkle in his daddy's eye, you banks. Boo banks. Excuse me. Sperm banks. Huh? Sperm come. banks. Huh? Birth. Yeah, we're not doing that. No. Birth canal. <laughs> you know? <laughs> birth canal so man it's been a long week and i'm feeling like dookie almost was to the point today where i was thinking about delaying the show Mm -hmm. put it push it back 24 hours a day i need i think i needed a day but you know what we're here so excited Mm -hmm. to sit down with you gentlemen and get this done so that's what we're gonna do but first some business boyspodcast.com it's a hub of all things boys there you will find links to our facebook instagram and twitter as well as links to every show and a golden donate button at the bottom of the page donate if you want boys podcast is available on itunes stitcher soundcloud anywhere you get your podcasts Uh, we're also available on youtube video format coming soon actual videos please rate review subscribe share with a friend Email us, boys at boyspodcast.com. Send us some feedback. Put your physical address in the bottom. We'll send you some stickers, some buttons. Thank you to those who have mailed us. It's awesome. Emailed us, not mailed us. We haven't got any mail. I would not give my address out. Don't even like giving out the- We could get a P.O. box. Approximation. Yeah. Speaking just, of 90s P.O. Yeah, boxes, yeah, right? Dude, yeah, let's order a fucking rockabilia catalog, you know, and just fucking look through it. Right? <laughs> Find me a corn t-shirt. Never buy anything from it. Speaking of age and the 90s, Dylan and I were talking about music today, mm-hmm. and he was one when the first Corn album came out. One year old, not even years old. One year I'm old. So glad I missed it, man. Ah, oh, you missed a, a true modern classic. Yeah. Speaking of modern classics, Anthem Brewing, AnthemBrewing.com. <laughs> the best beer to drink when you're listening to Corn. The best beer to drink for a one year old. Both, both. Hmm. Fat Bison, FatBison.com. Good wood from a good man with a good soul and a big dick. Big Wood, <laughs> Big Wood, Fat Bison, Big Wood. Is that why he calls it Fat Bison? Is that what he calls his Pekka? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> and lastly, wouldn't thanks. Be, wouldn't be tough. All right, go on. OKCComedy.com. If you feel like laughing, head on over to OKCComedy.com. <laughs> Laugh, laughs, laughs. Rule of three. I always say, laugh until you twist. What do you think? That was on that first record. No, that was on the second. Oh, was it? It was. Was that Chino rap? Was Wicked on the first one? Second. Damn it. First one had a darker vibe. Daddy. First. Yeah. You want, this is a game? Sh- shoots and ladders. Second. Uh, first. First. Okay. First. That had a very dark theme. It always felt to me like I'm being diddled in a, in a closet. Being diddled? Being diddled. I was just being diddling <laughs> in the closet listening to my corn tape. No big deal. No. Lastly, thank you for the donations, tweets, comments, likes telling a friend you know that's the best thing you could do if you like the show tell a friend about it share the joy you know i i ran across a new podcast recently Mm -hmm. congratulations with chris Mm delia he has since become i hate to use the term spirit animal Hmm. speaking of 90s references isn't that a fight club reference your spirit animal did fight club come out in the 90s oh yeah okay i don't i wasn't sure if it was 90s or 2000s 98 i believe okay yeah because it was we were in high school but I feel like this guy's kind of like my guiding light in life. He's, he's rich. He's good looking. He does not give a fuck. And he's funny. Yeah. You think yeah. Chris D'Elia is good looking? I think he's yeah. very good looking. You don't think Chris... D- I don't find him attractive. Really? He's not really my type. Really? It's the hair. Speaking of 90s, he has 90s hair. He does. I I like his hair. I don't know. I, I love Chris D'Elia. I, I've, listened, I've watched his stand-ups like over and over again. Like, he is funny as fuck. I didn't know that he had a podcast until, I mean, you showed it to me. And it's really good. Have you have you seen his stand-ups yet? I haven't watched them yet. I've watched some clips from some stand-ups. I think you sent me one. Yeah. And I think Matt Street sent me one. They're Old Fat on, Bison himself. They're both on Netflix, man. They're both real good. I need to watch them. Yeah. But his podcast is great because, mm-hmm. man, to be to be him and to just not give a fuck and he it's just him he never has guests mm-hmm. i mean you guys are both aware of this but it's part of the show to, 
tell a story right. and form, <laughs> yeah. relate. Yeah. Let him know. Mm-hmm. He just rants. Yeah. He just sits down and talks. And of course, it's a comedy show. So some of the shit's outlandish and kind of like, ugh. Yeah. But like, it's funny. Good yeah. dude. Somewhat topical sometimes. Just like yeah. us. And without further ado, Boys, episode 90. I just flew in from L.A. and boy, are my lungs tired. Because <laughs> there's things there that you can do. Smoked a lot of weed. Yeah. yeah it was great. Digital weed. <laughs> Digital weed? Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk weed. <clears throat> now, do you mean digital weed oh vaporizers yeah okay the future <laughs> hold on say vaporizers again vaporizers <laughs> <laughs> dude it's the future yeah when yeah. when you're in a state where it's legal sure and you partake as everyone at this place did you, you know hopefully one day oklahoma will be one of those states hopefully sooner than later we got a big vote coming up we and we'll, just fill, we'll fill you in listener we'll get you filled, get that one guy out yeah. there <laughs> We'll fill you in. Steve will let you know. <laughs> Checks I'm, in the mail. I'm going to say Zach. Zach. Okay. We'll let you know, man. Be, you, I know you're out of state. I know you can't vote here, but I'm still going to let you know. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you listening, Zach. I feel and like, for the donations. <clears throat> I feel like Zach's a, like a real 90s name. Like 90s parents named their kids Zach. No, no. Z-A-C-H. That's very 90s. Well, you got Zach Morris from mm-hmm. Saved by the Bell. You got Zach... Uh, th- what the fuck's his name? He was Galifianakis. Oh, he got Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> his show on MTV was pretty nineties. It was. I'll yeah, take... Zach Hansen. That nineties. The yeah. the actor who was in uh, uh, Gremlins. His name was Zach. I forgot the last name, but his name was Zach. I feel like people naming kids now are like, if it's a boy, it's like, you know, De- Juniper De- or De- something. <laughs> no, I was I'm Hunter. Kidding. Hunter, yeah, yeah. Skyler. Oh, you got Zachajewia. Well, she was like eighteen nineties though. Zachajewia. Yeah. <laughs> Getting things wrong. Zachariah. <laughs> Zachajewia. Dude, Zachariah sounds like the the uh, fucking making coffees guy. Zach. Zachariah. It also sounds very biblical. Uh, it sounds what like is? a cult leader. I don't know. To me, Zachariah. Children of the Corn. I didn't like that movie. Good band. Children of the corn. Why did they never utilize that? They have no, a song no, called you guys, that. You guys should just it's make on the a second band. album. Third you, album. You guys should just make a band called Children of the Corn. That would be the ultimate corn tribute band. Yeah. Children of the Corn. But they're all like teenagers and no, they're, dope. They're eight. <laughs> they're eight. <laughs> With like long dreads yeah. and Adidas tracksuits. That would mm-hmm. be so dope. Minis, little mini guitars. So I got back from LA yeah. on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Had a great, great time. Went to Nam. North American musical. I'm not sure. Sh- I'm not even sure what it stands for. I, it's North American music merchants. I think it has merchants I, in I there think it or is something. Music merchants. Uh, but yeah, great time. So flew out on, let's see, Wednesday. Uh, got there, set up the booth, went to dinner, had a you great dinner. Flew first class for the first time in my life. I saw the photo. National Amer- uh, wow, National Association of Music Merchants. So we, okay. the last part we were correct, the first part yeah. we were totally wrong. Yeah, the first two we got wrong. Club but NA sounds yeah. like North America. North America or Narcotics Anonymous. Yeah. National Association. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, first class first time. Did you get free champ? I got free whatever I wanted. I got a meal. I didn't eat the meal, but I got offered a meal. It was a burger. Sirloin burger. With a some sort of cheese on it, some fancy cheese. Yeah. Brie? First. No, I wouldn't have brie on it. Some kind of I don't I don't okay. I don't so, no, I don't know my cheese. So from from flying first Yellow. class and you've only flown coach before. Yeah, I've never flown first class. First time. Would it be worth it to fly first class to it, pay for it? If it was a long flight, for mm-hmm. sure. Leg room alone. Leg room alone. Now what would you consider a long flight? Like six, seven hours overseas. Okay. You know, if you were flying from maybe New York to LA or Oklahoma to New York over over across the ocean, then mm. yeah, for sure, man. First class. But I did two. I had a layover in Dallas. Mm. So you but, only had first class for a short stint. I had it the whole time, bro. Okay. But they weren't long flights. <sighs> it was like the, the, the most we were in the air was like two hours. And dude, I mean, I can be cramped for two hours, you know? That's a trip to Tulsa in the back of a buddy's car. Oh, God. 
tripped a Tulsa on the back of a single cab pickup truck. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> yeah, that's like I, in the bed. No, remember when we I went know, to go see? Yeah. So it was a it was a small. <laughs> that's sitting in that seat of a truck. If you're not familiar, 1990s Nissan whatever it was yeah it's the side seat behind it's the boat seat it's, it's a, the fold down boat seat oh, it's a boat dude. seat like you're sitting on a fucking bus mm-hmm. that no that i equivalent i equivalent equivalent that's not a word that seat to what flying coach is like that's how it feels to me that i'm sitting in this fucking shitty seat and i yeah. could see people right in front of me you guys got good seats. You got leg room. Yeah. We're just stretching out. We're like leaning back, stretching out, yeah. just pressing Josh against the back glass. Those are like... Like a Garfield. Those are like the seats that are just fucking sideways. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a back cushion. It's, yeah, you fold so, the seat down like you're going to a fucking football game. Dude, take that out and just lay down. Like, I feel like that's what they should have done. Like, hey, no, no seat. You can... There's a bed, though. What like they should little, do... Like, there's not even <laughs> enough room for that. Though. They should Ugh. mold it where you get in there and lay down like a V. So you have plenty of headroom, plenty yeah. of legroom, yeah. and then you can like sit there and read a magazine, like a hammock. Yeah, like like a like a truck hammock. That's tight. <laughs> That'd be better than a boat seat, right? Yeah, but imagine getting in a car accident. Imagine it in the boat seat, dude. Well, you might be pretty safe because you're like you're like a fucking astronaut back there, like strapped in. Unless you got <sighs> t-boned. Yep. Like you're there. Going. Yeah, I mean your back's fucked. You're, t- you're that's a TKO, dude. Total <laughs> knockout. You're done. Total party kill. Yeah. T- <laughs> TPK. T- TPK. Yeah. Total party kill. Yeah. Later. So I would say that it was, it was nice. Okay. It was nice. But so was it a good start? Was that just like the thing that just kicked off this? Yeah. And amazing weekend. A, ma- a magical yet busy. Sure. Strenuous on the old knees. I mean, it's work. You're there legs. For work. Back. Arms, like brain, ears, eyes, neck and shoulders. Nose. Did you smell a lot of smells? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feet, fingers, wrists. Smell Head, fingers. shoulders, knees and toes. <laughs> knees and toes. Oh, sir, can you come over? I got to just sniff your fingers. It's, just I got to know. Sir, could I tell you about pedals? And uh, could I ask you, uh, where's the fudge made? <laughs> no, it was great, man. Yeah, and it was, it was a nice first sign. Mm-hmm. Uh, landed, went and set up the booth. And then we went out to eat, ate another first mm-hmm. pussy. No, I ate escargot for the first time. Oh shit! Huh. Yeah, had a little had a little appetizer of escargot. That's escargot is the fish snail. eggs, right? Snail. Oh, it's snail. No, yeah, caviar what? is the fish. Eggs. Caviar is yeah. fish eggs. Escargot is snail. How? What did it taste like? It tasted. You're, this is gonna gross you out. Okay. It tasted like the dopest, most flavorful mushroom that mm. I've ever had. Okay. Like a delicious, <clears throat> like baby portobello that's been like stewed in delicious sauce. It was fucking good. I bet that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I hate mushrooms, but I understand that See, they can taste real good. I love mushrooms, but I don't equate this m- mucusy thing that hides in a shell yeah. to a mushroom. Hmm. Wait. So have you eaten it? Escargot? Yeah. No, I have not. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. It's, it's like maybe it's you guys taste it too different. <laughs> no, he I had not. the canned escargot. Escargot. I got it at the buy for less. It was real good. Escargot. So does it come in a shell? Yeah. It, the presentation was beautiful. It was on this bed of green. I don't even know what the stuff it was on was. That just goes to show how much of a simp I am, a food simp, a movie yeah. simp, all kinds of things. Came on. It was like a bed of like. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. Kale? No, it was like little balls, little tiny balls that you would eat. I guess it was a sauce that you would, you could like scoop the escargot in and eat, but I just went straight in. This is a fancy restaurant you went to. Oh yeah. Very nice steakhouse called The Ranch in LA. Very, very nice. Very nice. Had that, had a beautiful steak. Mm Mm-hmm. We're just going to talk about food. We're going to talk about the food I ate. Well, I need to because uh, another first, (laughs) let's take it from, from, First class to coach. You went to the Buffalo Cup Shrimp Company. That I did. So what? now what was that experience now, now, like? The complete opposite. <laughs> now we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. Sorry. But we can skip around. This is our show. I thought those two tied together really well. So there was a night in between. Okay. Of another fancy, beautiful meal. Mm-hmm. But yeah, let's just skip to Gump. So let's see. Saturday night, our last night in the city. So Wednesday night. Thursday night and Friday night after the convention, Mm -hmm. there was something to do. First night, 
party or something. Well, yeah. first night, Robert took us and our biggest German distributor, Hans, mm-hmm. took us all out to dinner at this really nice steakhouse. It was dope. And then after that, I think we just went back to the hotel and had some beers. Everybody was tired from traveling all day. Mm-hmm. Second night, after the Korean barbecue, where I ate fucking octopus that I cooked myself. <sighs> Sounds so good. It was dope. Little baby ones. They're about two and a half, three inches tall. Mm-hmm. Heads and all. Just popped them in there? It was an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. Yeah, there's like a grill on your thing and you yeah. throw it on there. Yeah, they yeah. bring you. they just keep bringing you trays of meat. And then you have like a list of sides and they just bring little sides. So it's just like little personal servings, yeah. but it's perfect because they're so on it there. Like mm-hmm. we, ne- or we never didn't have something right in front of us to eat. And I had pork belly and short ribs, mm-hmm. bulgogi, had all kinds of stuff, had shrimp, these huge shrimp that were like still had the legs. You had to peel them yourself, so cook they them were, on the yeah. grill. So, so they were bigs. They were the opposite of shrimpy, if that's yeah, what you're getting at. That's what I was trying to get at. But yeah, I had octopus. So, okay, last night, mm-hmm. Friday, or excuse me, Saturday night, last night in L.A., I was kind of, by that point, I was kind of like over networking. Like, I saw I saw everybody. We talked. I went out the last three nights, and I, I told Robert, I said, hey, man, in my last night, I think I'm just going to lone wolf it. And he's like, all right, yeah, lone wolf, man, that sounds cool. He's like, yeah, you do that. <laughs> So the hotel we were staying in is the Hilton, which is basically attached. <laughs> Name drop. I know. First class Hilton. Robbie Ray. They call me Robbie First Class Harris. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. No. Me neither. I didn't know that. <laughs> so the Hilton we stayed in was like connected to the convention center. It was wonderful. Like sure. It was hell getting in and out car wise, but we could just walk over to the convention and get in. It was mm-hmm. great. So I go back up to the hotel after the show. Everybody else went to a party, another get together. And I just decided to uh, finish off the last of my digital weed and just go for a walk. Mm-hmm. So I walk out and I'm, I'm like, I'm like on my laptop in the hotel room looking for like a dope place to like pop in and get a slice. I was wanting some pizza. But you yeah. were downtown L.A. <clears throat> like right? I was right next to Disneyland. Like, oh, you're at Anaheim. Anaheim. OK. Yeah. Not, no, not, not L.A. Yeah. Anaheim. Like <laughs> you could see Disneyland from the hotel room, like right outside yeah, yeah, the window. Yeah. Wow. Mm, been there several times. It's. Kind of a tourist trap. Very much so. And I, boy, just Johnny the Rube walking down the midway with cotton candy in one hand and my wallet in the other hand. Yeah, you know? your, your cotton candy, i.e. your digital weed. Yeah. That was your, yeah. Oh, look at all the shiny flashing lights. <laughs> look at that big old neon shrimp. Uh, so I'm walking around. I was going to go to this pizza place. It was like this cool little hip kind of rundown pizza place there mm-hmm. on the corner. And then I saw a bunch of lights going down. I was like, I'm going to walk down there. I mean, like, I, it was like. 6 45 mm-hmm. it was early it's dinner time yeah i was hungry huh feeling a little nostalgic mm-hmm. for a movie i have seen because as i was walking around i turned the corner and there it is like a, a shining beacon yes. at you, that shrimp with the hat the on. he's wearing a fucking hat he's right? wearing a top hat okay. i'm pretty oh sure he's wearing God, a top that's hat. tight now <laughs> funny side story real quick and i'm sorry i know i'm hogging the mic but i want to get to your weekend here in a moment sure so when I got married, mm-hmm. we went to Denver, Colorado. You sure did. Years ago. And we ran across a uh, Bubba Gump shrimp company <laughs> on our honeymoon. And my favorite movie is Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. Now, just wait till later. I'm going to get a lot cooler. <laughs> so I wanted to go. I was like, dude, I know it's cheesy. I know it's not good. But I want to go. There it is. There it is. That's Santa Monica. Close enough. Really? I looked up. They're all different, okay? No. Uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to go, and she was like, oh, no, we, we shouldn't do that. And I was like, yeah, you're right, or whatever. But now I finally got mine. So I, I walk in. It, there's a crowd. Like, mm-hmm. everything is super touristy right there. So there was, like, a line. People were waiting to eat with the little buzzers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. They have a sign that says, run, forest, run on your table? Oh, dude. No, oh, they have more than that. The whole inside is, it's like a fucking TGI Friday. But all the tchotchkes are all Forrest Gump it's themed? It's all Gump related. There there were license plates everywhere. Mm-hmm. And one of them was, I got a letter P. P. Oh my God. I was like, God. Some sad prisoner actually pressed that thing somewhere. Wow. So anyways, it, I walk in. Man, it looks really dope. 
These are kind of, the one I was in was a little bit cooler than this. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, no. Anyways, continue. Uh, yeah. I'm it's just, been a I'm little just looking. Yeah, we're just, we're just, just gumping. Looking. Yeah. We're just, just gumping. lone wolf gumping. Just looking here. So I go in there and I say, hey, I know there's a weight. Do you have a bar? Because like I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm lone wolfing. <laughs> so I'm going to go in there. <laughs> That's the beauty of lone wolfing. <laughs> Always a seat at the bar. I, uh, I don't want to cut you off, but I just, I picture you everywhere you're going that night. Hey, who's Lone Wolf? Like, just, just strangers no, yeah. on yeah. the street. Yeah. Hey, Lone what, are you, what are you doing? I'm Lone Wolf and I'm not from these parts. Like, <laughs> basically, he's asking to get robbed. Yeah. 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 At, in front no. of a Bubba Gump shrimp but company. Please, please tell me. I'm, I'm, I'm picturing my mind. I want you to be walking up and see there's a line. Oh, and go to the hostess, like, hey, Sorry, guys. I'm lone wolfing tonight. Just me. I need a belt. And you belt up to the bar, and the bartender walks up, and you just go, "Hi, just lone wolfing, just me." <laughs> just keep, just keep saying it. Did and you? Is that how it worked out? Did you get to the belly up to a bar? I did belly up to a yes. bar. There was one seat left. Mm -hmm. There was there was a guy dining beside me who was uh, he owned a chain of music stores in Poland. You know this because you elbow him and go, "Hey, I'm lone wolfing. What are you doing?" <laughs> no, I knew this because he was wearing his badge still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you have yours on or did no? You Pop that shit back in the room. When you're lone wolfing, you ain't advertising who you're with because you never know what kind of crazy shit you're going to get into at Bubba Gump. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quote. Bubba Gump, you got it. When you're lone wolf gumping, the city is your oyster. No, your shrimp. The city is your shrimp. Anyways. So I belly up to the bar. Uh-huh. And this 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 beautiful young lady working mm -hmm. hard for the money yeah. at Bubba Gump Shrimp Co. How old would you say this young lady was? She's probably in her like mid 20s okay. i don't know 25 maybe yeah. 30 i don't know but but real nice real friendly uh work that was i wasn't like checking her out because uh, you know i, I have sure, a girlfriend sure. look but don't touch I, w I was just observing her working very hard for him i was like damn that girl is on it yeah she was going nuts it was <clears throat> it was pumping mm -hmm. in bubba gump there were a they, they, it looked that, busy. It was fucking packed in there. <clears throat> Pumping and gumping. They, they had a cocktail menu. They did. That was themed, I'm sure. Yeah, you should pull up the menu. We should look at some of these uh, yeah, entrees. Yeah, pull entree. Yeah, Bubba Gump menu. Yeah. Um, there you go. So did you get a cocktail? Did you get like a, a no. Gumparita or anything like that? <laughs> no. Wow. I got a, uh, no, I, I got a beer. I got I got three beers. I was drinking beers. It was wonderful. I wanted a beer and I got a shrimp po' boy. Mama Gump's garlic bread basket. That sounds <laughs> dope. Wow. That's well, just the appetizers, too, my guy. The, <laughs> the run across America sampler. Like, come on. They just shoehorning shrimp. it. Yeah. Fried shrimp, seafood, hush puppies. Why are there not ping pong balls? Well, and there's yeah, some sort of. Why is there Bubba's far out dip? Did Bubba ever go, hey, Forrest, far out? Like, <laughs> Bubba the hippie? <gasps> Which I always refer to him as Bubba Gump. Yeah. But it's not. No, he's, he's, what was his last name? Bubba Shrimp something? Shack Mac and Cheese? What is up? Uh, hold on, I want to, I, I don't see that liquor menu. Okay. I don't, Might not be on here. This looks very family friendly. Uh, Jenny's Catch. Jenny's Catch, there you go. Oh my God. Okay. And so it's AIDS? Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, can I get the Jenny's catch? Uh, hold the HIV. Yeah, please. I actually put it on the side. Put it on the side. I'm, you know, might be getting frisky. So there's not a drink when you boom, 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 boomer. So here I am. Yeah, stoned in L.A. Lone wolfing, <laughs> lone wolf gumping, mm -hmm. having a great time, dude. Here's the thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people that go to Nam, they want to go to these hip parties, right? Mm -hmm. The hip parties are great. Yeah, they want to shoulder rub with the dude from, uh, you know, Earthquaker, Roland, yeah, yeah. Roland mm -hmm. Boss, whatever, you know, JHS, all those cats. I had more fun lone wolf gumping mm -hmm. than going to these hip parties. Because here's the thing. In my position at work, I'm not a face. Mm -hmm. I'm behind the camera. Yeah, they don't know you. I don't have a work personality because... I don't show my face. I'm not Robert. I'm not Aaron, you know? So I had more fun talking to this Polish gentleman, drinking beer. As soon as I walked in, there was a Laker Bulls game starting. Nice. I was in, I was happier than a pig in shit. I yeah. was so happy. Yeah. So this, did this Polish guy, was his accent very thick? He spoke English, but he had a super thick accent. But I, I mean, we could totally sit there and be conversational. Very nice guy. 
And yeah, that's man, that's it. Like it was just, it was a wonderful, was I mean, l- very bottom of quality of food I ate. Did so the food say, wasn't good. Yeah, one beer. I had three three twenty four ounce beers. So you got feeling nice and warm too. <laughs> I uh, did you leave and did you walk out and see the strip of neon lights and go? This is gonna be my night. And just did you pop in somewhere else? Or did you go straight back to the room? I walked around. Mm-hmm. I did not go in anywhere else because everything was, was pumping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just walked around and like people watched. Mm-hmm. I walked around for like an hour after dinner. You, you saw a lot of parents who put the kids to bed in the hotel room. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, today was stressful. Can I have three gumparitas, please? <laughs> <laughs> what do we got in the alcohol zone? Uh, got anything good? It's a little uh, kind of kind of. Or the metal margarita. No, I'm looking for like, there's got to be something with the name. Lieutenant Dan's Pomegranate Punch. Was that from the movie? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan? Ben, yeah, but he didn't. Yeah. He, he didn't Wasn't drink. It? He didn't. Here's. Hey, Forrest, get in here. I got some of my famous pomegranate punch. Pomegranate punch. No, it's Benjamin Buford, Bubba. Man. Blueberry. Quote, blueberry. Can I zoom in on this? Yeah, uh, please. No, it's okay. I just don't know how I would even do it. It's just, I mean, the lava re- flow that wasn't referenced in the. You guys got to get back in this blue Hawaii. That's not in there. Either. Yeah, it's just the. I mean, it's I so loosely. Does he talk about like iced tea a lot in the movie? No, it's, there should be something with Dr. Pepper in it though. Oh, he loved Dr. Pepper, dude. Fucking flaming Dr. Pepper. Anyways, anywho. So yeah, it was great. Had yeah. a great time. Came back and now leading back to where it all began. Mm-hmm. I got the Nam Funk. I'm stopped up. I'm coughing. My throat hurts. I'm tired. I'm sore. Yeah. I'm glad to be home. Glad yeah. to be here. Glad to have you back, man. Glad to be back <sighs> in the old, in the octagon, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> I had a, not a crazy weekend, but I had a weekend. I went somewhere. That's Where'd you go, Casey? Such a radio Casey Kasem over here. Uh, I just went down to just a, just a little overnight in Dallas with the wife. I wasn't lone wolfing. We were... Uh, a pack that night i guess i don't know we drove down to see charlie bliss and uh, wolf parade and went to the worst venue ever the house of blues i am the kind of guy that i enjoy going to shows that say uh you know kane's ballroom uh granada theater places of that caliber corporate shows have you got have you been to like one of the house of blues is the bubba gump of music venues and you know what? Hmm. To tie this together even more, yeah, I was lone wolfing. You were going to a wolf parade. Oh, the opposite. Shit, that definitely wow. was. There's, yeah, I've never been to House of Blues, but I've heard plenty about that. It's kind of like just sterile. It's tchotchkes. There's a bunch of tchotchkes okay. on the wall. Yeah, sterile, uh, overpriced beverages. Is it the Hard Rock Cafe of the South? Hard Rock. Yeah, Hard Rock okay. Cafe. All right. Have it's, you ever been? Uh, to which one? either or I've been to, Bubba uh, Gumps. I've been to Hard Rock. Yeah, I mean it's. Have like, you been to a show at Hard Rock Cafe? <laughs> no, no. When I went to when I went to Hard Rock Cafe, I was a uh, little young blood. Still am, but younger. Yeah. Um, but it was like you know, it's one of those places that like your grandparents go to if you yeah. have young grandparents or your parents go to. Like my grandparents fucking loved it. You know, it's you go in, you get some food, get some drinks, and like everything on the wall is just like rock and roll, but it's like yeah. lame. You know, yeah. it's just like you know, just a bunch of fucking Aerosmith pictures, watered down shit. rock and yeah, roll. Yeah, I mean, and then like here's the you know Les Pauls hanging up on the wall. It's like oh, well, that's a bummer that that's just gonna be there and no one has ever played it or ever will. I mean, yeah. that's, it's like here's Keith Moon's socks. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's just shit like that. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> yeah, no, that's what they give like the fucking Midwest right. chains. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's like, cool. Tulsa. It's cool. cool if your parents are into it. You know, mm-hmm. you're like yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's just it's definitely how it felt. Yeah. But the the bands were really good and they were yeah. two totally different sounding bands. Uh brought them some uh pedals for Keely, met them. They the were liaison, su- if you will. Super mm-hmm. sweet, sweet as pie people. Put on a great set. And then after that uh show, uh I've ha- already had a couple double beverages. A couple doubles? F- filling out, filling out. I'm like <laughs> it's only ten o'clock. Let's just hop in an Uber, go down to Deep Ellum. Because House of Blues is on the other side. Yes, it is. And then, so we just went right down Elm, popped into the old restaurant. Oh, I always go to an Anvil Pub. That's, yeah, that's, Anvil that's, Pub. that's a good stop place. off. But we stopped and just had one drink at each place, but we went to like four places. How are you feeling? 
uh, I'm still feeling a little shitty about it. Huh. Like I don't feel feel I don't feel a hundred percent like like a two day hangover. A two days Oof, because it went from like just straight double gin and tonics to like and then you then I switched over to beer for some dumb reason. Yeah. Then you capped the night off going to the world famous Buzz Brews. Did you have some food at one thirty a.m. I had some food and oh. then I, not only that, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Fuck a mimosa. At one thirty in the morning? Yeah. And with food. Two double espressos. Dude. Oof. Okay, I'm just gonna say you deserve how you feel. I know. <laughs> I, nice. I may have I may have slept three hours. And then you drove back? Eh, what would you do the do you you ease your way back home? You get in the car, you get some breakfast, drive a little bit, get some lunch, mm-hmm. stop into the old uh, IKEA. Oh yeah, yeah, out. yeah. And then you know, you just, just start driving back home. That fucking the drive home is always worse than the drive there. What do you mean worse? It just seems to take a little longer, and you're more exhausted because you did something, and you're so hungover because you drank mimosas at one thirty. <laughs> yeah, had one too many at Bubba Gump's. One, I know the feeling, my one man. One too many at the Bubba Gump's. No. It, it does feel longer. I don't know. I feel like the way home is kind of relaxing because it's like I don't. I'm not in a hurry. Like I'm always in a hurry to get there. But you're looking. For, you're looking forward to getting home. Yeah. Popping them clothes off. Getting your your. Getting ready for bed, even though we got back at like seven thirty or eight, and I was like, eh, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Did you put your bedtime undies on? I got bedtime undies on. <laughs> I've been doing that, dude. I'm a changed man. It's great. Change your drawers before you go to bed. Yeah. Like who wants yeah. to sleep in a fart? You know, a fart ass all night. Yeah. Like who wants? Who? Like you've been wearing a fucking uh, fart blanket just, around your dick all day. I, mean, I can like, already. I can feel taint sweat. Yeah. Like I'm not. When I'm gonna lay in my clean sheets with that shit. Yeah. I just bought new sheets at IKEA. I did. I wonder how long they're gonna last. Probably not very long. So okay, you do the, the bedtime on being clean. No, the sheets. Oh. Because it's IKEA, things don't really last very long. So you just is the clean undies. Is that all you do? You sleep just in undies. Sometimes. Okay. I mean, that my, it's like I'm sleeping in underwear. Like Max, yeah. I'm sleeping in boxers. They're not boxers. I don't wear boxers. I'm not 14. Okay. But, <laughs> I, but dude, they look better when you sag. They do. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, 90s. I'm, dude, I wish I still did you that. You get a pair of dickies, <laughs> that, pair of dickies like a size or two too big. Wait, did you ever sag? Oh, oh yeah. I don't, I don't. Not on purpose. Did yeah, I, I sag? No ass. I didn't yeah, do it kind on purpose. Of. With dickies, yeah. I sagged. Well, you got to tough the boxers out. Hey, here's a cool fashion trend. Pull your pants down a little too far. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Something I don't understand. They yeah. still do it. I know. But they do them with skinny jeans, so it looks like you just shit your pants. Yeah, dude. You got penguin yeah. legs. It's terrible. Stop. I, I, I sagged, but it definitely wasn't on purpose. But then I bought a fucking belt, you know? Yeah. So. Sagging sucks. Yeah. Listen, I'm trying to be positive in 2018. You can't walk. Sagging sucks. Right. Sagging do, do, does suck. Do people I, still do it? You're talking like Bieber sagging, right? Like where they have to hold on to their waistband. It's so low. Oh, yeah, but it makes the crotch super, super long and they're tiny jeans. So, it look, yeah. yeah, it looks, you look like, you look like Aladdin yeah. basically, right? But yeah. like way less cool than Aladdin. Yeah. Aladdin was dope with that like vest and like. And his no nut sack pants. Yeah. Yeah, but he's kind of a shitty person. Really, though? Was he? He was extremely selfish in all of his endeavors. His whole thing was just to get this princess. When do you think somebody will say something to the like to the effect or extent that like, you know, like the Me Too, Mm -hmm. like, whoa, whoa, Aladdin was a little too pushy. He lied. He lied. He azized. He azized Princess Jasmine. (laughs) He lied. I just found out about that last night. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, Yeah, not for me. Yeah, Uh, you guys can post about it on Facebook. You already are. I watched. I watched (laughs) SNL. Not you guys. I was like, me? Everyone else. <laughs> I watched SNL on Sunday, and it was, it was a great, great episode. You know, speaking of bedtime things, that's what I do. I just well watch something, and that was the hour that I had. I mm. watched that. And then that skit came on. Have you seen the new SNL? I have not. There's a sketch. It's hosted by Will Ferrell, mm-hmm. where they're at a dinner table, three couples, and then someone says, you know, I saw this news article on Aziz on Sunday. Everyone goes like, ooh. And I'm like, what happened? Ah, I didn't know. Yeah. So as I'm watching the sketch, I'm like reading the news. Yeah. It's weird. It, you know, 
when it comes to my thoughts on that whole thing, mm -hmm. it just doesn't seem as fucked up as some of the other stuff. Is sure. it right? No, no probably no. not. You know, but I don't know, man. That that one was the one. I mean, yeah. up until it's that point, weird, man, it is up until that point. I was pretty on board. But then when I read that and I actually read I, I read the story. Mm -hmm. I read the, the lady's story that she sold to the mm -hmm. website. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, it's filtering through my male brain. Mm -hmm. I'd be a fool to say otherwise. But right. I read it and I was just like, man, this one kind of sounds like bullshit. Yeah. Comparatively. Well, is it wrong? Yes. What, whatever. Whatever. Well, there's is a lot it? of feminists know. that say that it is bullshit. I mean, like, no, do I know that feminist? or No, I don't. Right. But it's just like I've... I've heard, you know, and I, I have some like friends on Facebook that are like, I'm not really buying it, you know? And so it's kind of just like dividing even more people. That, that's, that's the perfect word. It's yeah. much more divisive. Mm -hmm. yeah. This instance. Yeah. Then let's say a Harvey Weinstein or Kevin Spacey, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's what the whole sketch was yeah. about. People going like, I don't, yeah. I don't want to say something and, but it's not, nah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I you know, I didn't really want to get into yeah, all that, either. but yeah. whatever. I was just talking about my bedtime thing. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what I did. Let's get back to it. Yeah. So, okay, I will, I won't start out just in boxers, but for some reason, the moments right before you turn the TV off, it's just boxers. You slide them off? Slide them off. Now, wait, is this when you're lone wolfing or is this when you're with your wife? Lone wolf? No, no, both. No, no, no. I slide my boxers off. I, I wear like gym shorts okay. and like a t-shirt or like a hoodie if it's cold. You don't, you don't bare chest it around the house? No, you know, I used to not, mm -hmm. but as soon as I, as soon as I was divorced, mm -hmm. I kind of like was like, were you Man. ashamed of your body? No, I just didn't have someone living with me that might judge me. A little respect. I'm having a little respect for myself. A little respect yeah. for the other person. I'm going to pop a t-shirt on. Yeah. This. I'm going to cover these little egg cups <laughs> and make you a little happier. You know, dude, I, I had a roommate who like, you know. If he listens to this podcast, he knows I love him, and he knows what I'm about to say is true. Uh, should have been wearing a shirt, just didn't, and I love him for it because he didn't give two fucks. Yeah. He's like he's like an overweight dude, really hairy, really long hair, and he's just like, yeah. I Wait, mean, was your roommate Wayne Wedge? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I don't know who that is, and so no. Uh, <laughs> he was my roommate. He did the same thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Big, yeah. big gang. No, my my uh, my guy just didn't give a fuck and like love him to death. And I just I, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. big time. Yeah. Like just to beast out in your own house. Yeah. Like gut. Like you know. Like Dude, yeah. yeah. You know, you're around people that you care about. <laughs> <what they're laughs> yes. Hold on. <laughs> The way you said beast out and just like let your gut show. <laughs> I'm imagine what I'm thinking is just just still jeans and shoes. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna take my shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna hold weird. I'm just gonna hold it. That's weird. Yeah. Holding it is weird. Yeah. Like, now, having, like, like shorts around or the on. house with just jeans on, <laughs> shoes, socks, just no shirt. Like, Watch. What's going on, dude? Like I don't care that you're not wearing a shirt. I, I honestly <laughs> care more about that you're wearing pants, too. Like, like what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, you took your watch off. <laughs> you're naked from the waist up, but you still got your ASICs on. Yeah. What is up, yeah, dude? Yeah, it's just like, like, hey, man, it'd be less weird if you had some shorts on. Okay, like, <laughs> now, okay. A weirder than that is no pants but <laughs> shoes and socks yeah that'd be a problem <laughs> as weird maybe not more weird as weird the fucking winnie the pooh yeah. you ever you ever just found yourself in that situation pooed yes where you're pooed you're straight up pooed you're fucking naked as a jaybird but you got a shirt on yeah. like, and your, your dick just hanging out of the bottom yeah. of the shirt yeah. like a like a grandfather clock yeah. just, it's it's like what Pam said in the office when Michael Scott was changing in his office, she goes, I didn't see where it started, but I saw where it ended. <laughs> that line always cracked me up because she didn't see his cock base. Yeah. But yeah, like, I, you know, I've graduated to the larger shirt because I'm a man of comfort. Yeah. I'm about to be 37. <laughs> yeah. Dude, nothing feels more weird than pooing. <laughs> Butt cheeks out. Yeah. Your helmet just rubbing against that seam of your shirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, mm. I I can't remember the last time that happened to me. Normally. Do it, do it now, do it for the show. <laughs> no, no. Be one thing if it was on camera, but this is yeah. I'm not gonna do it for you. Try it. 
<laughs> all right. I will. Yeah. I know I know our porn link challenge fell apart, mm-hmm. but let's all try to poo at least. Yeah. Like let's all I'll poo for you. I'll poo for you. I got I'll poo you. for you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Josh. Man. Yeah, I'll poo. You know what else is weird, which in a totally different way? You ever um thrown the hoodie on without a t-shirt yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> and a zipper i did that the other cold zipper it's so <laughs> yeah. weird and rubbing it and just a line going down your chest and like this is awkward yeah it shouldn't be always wear a shirt with again other way wearing a button-up shirt with the hoodie is the weirdest fucking thing yeah. oh dude it's totally uh, so bad like when, yeah. when I wear a hoodie, because sometimes I'll do that, I'll get up and like mm-hmm. I need to like let Olivia out or something. But so you just, zip it all the way you up. You zip it up to the neck, <laughs> neck. But then it just feels like you got a piece of cold <laughs> spaghetti on your like from your from your Adam's apple to your belly button. I, I, it always reminds me of cold spaghetti. I've done know. that. Be- I've done that before. But I, I don't zip it. I don't zip or button anything no, all you, the way up unless it's my pants. You got a little breathing room. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, it's your thing. Yeah, I got some chest hair. It's not that I'm trying to show it. I don't give a. F- I don't care. It's just if you got that. Got it buttoned up all the way. You look like a fucking square. Unbutton the button. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't I haven't looked over in your direction in a while. Look to me for a second because your shirt kind of matches your hoodie. Like Black. I'm doing the thing that we were doing. No, no, <laughs> or no, like you're doing the the ten year old where you just put just the hood on and no sleeves, <laughs> dude. The weird kid that just puts the hood on and then runs around. Yeah. <laughs> That, that same person talks like, hey, guys, what's up? Like, yeah. that's that kid. And yeah. we'll, like, run off in the middle of a sentence <laughs> and, like, the, like a human kite holding yeah. his hoodie out behind him. One random fact and then run, run away. Yeah. yeah. The Velociraptor who had a wingspan of 15 feet. <laughs> what? Velociraptors didn't have wings, though, kid. And then uh, and he comes back. And then he trips. <laughs> and then yeah, and you realize... Oh, Timmy's dumb. <laughs> oh, Timmy's in the other class. Oh, he wears that because he's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> or it's he like that he doesn't realize they're sleeves for your arms. It's like that scene in Forrest Gump at the end where he comes in and he and he sees Jenny after all those years, mm-hmm. and little Haley Joel Osment is sitting down watching TV, and he's like, "Is he?" And what he, you know, mm-hmm. he's asking mm-hmm. if the kid is retarded. You know? Yeah. And the, and Jenny's like, thank God, no, you know. And then he like they, they hug or whatever. She kind of does say it like that. She right? does. She's kind of like, it's like, no, no, no. He's good. No, he's, he's normal. He's good. Damn, fucking Bubba Gump, dude. I was so happy. So on the ride home, mm-hmm. I have a long flight ahead of me, and you know, a belly full of shrimp. First class, not on the way home. All the whole way. What? All, all four. All four flights. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, the dude. whole the whole the whole way. And I got smart on my way home because I was sitting by myself on the way there. And I didn't realize that the drinks is free in first class. You get a departing drink. You get a drink for the tarmac. You get a drink uh, in the air. They give you a drink before you even take they give off you and take it from you. You get to drink nectar of the gods so, beer wine so while well, the plebes are boarding <laughs> and walking past you giving like, you dirty looks this is my third martini yeah i'm like this is a bloody mary <laughs> and you don't even get water until we take <laughs> off i know i i was kind of i'm not gonna lie because i'm not in that position very often mm-hmm. right i was a uh, kind of a uh, judging people with my eyes as they were I was yeah. like yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm in a hoodie and a fucking old ass t shirt. Or no, no t shirt. I was just in a <laughs> zipped up. <laughs> Only but hoodie. No I pants. Was pooing. <laughs> they I was, let you poo in first class. They do. Uh, you, you get to poo in your own bathroom. You get to poo and pee in your own bathroom. Wow. Right. How, no, how is the bathroom? Tiny. Uh, tiny. Same. Yeah. yeah. Same bathroom. But just like you're not getting. You're not getting lower middle class piss in your toilet. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I like to stay as far <laughs> away from lower middle class piss. No, but you get to share the bathroom with eight people and not 40. Yeah. yeah. So if you need to piss, you're not you're not rushed. You know, there's not a lot. Or if you have to take a shit, I, I well, couldn't. Then seven people know. I then couldn't see, take a shit sure. at thirty five thousand yeah. feet. There's I have. Just, Dude, it's fucking weird. It's weird. You know, I, and just gonna have you have you guys ever gone on an airplane bath? Gone in an airplane bathroom that the light didn't work? Yeah, I had to shit in an airplane bathroom <sighs> with the lights out. So did you go by smell? No. <laughs> Ew. The white. <laughs> There was a light. <laughs> no, Is this your shit on the end? <laughs> no, there was enough light to analyze. He flushed my his pants fucking... and pooed the rest of the way. <laughs> Sorry, I could see the shit paper. All right, okay. you know, and then, but no, it was fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah. it was real bad. Let me tell you something. In no. first class, the lights always work. Oh man! All right. Ooh. Yeah. Huh? Lights always on. So on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the way home, I, I 
I uh, have a few. I have a few, and I uh, have a little in-flight entertainment. Put a couple movies on the old phone. They, you can watch free movies, especially in first class. Well, when I left, the Thunder game was wrapping up, so I actually got to watch like half of the Thunder game, and nice. I still had like two and a half hours. On your phone, that. or was the things no, the on the screen in, the in first class where I was sitting, drinking, shitting, pissing, pooing, all th- th- there was a Thunder game. It's great. So after that, <laughs> had a little movie preloaded on my phone that I wanted to watch. And so I've got my nice headphones on. I'm watching this movie. And I don't know if it was, excuse me. I don't know if it was because, you know, I was on a plane. I had these headphones on. I was just like transfixed on watching this movie. Maybe I was a little buzzed. But I watched 2009 James Cameron's Avatar. On a phone? Just, and- the, just the way it was meant to be watched. <laughs> In dazzling 480p. No, oh. I d- I had a nice Blu-ray version of it on my phone. On your phone, though, it was good. What? You liked it, dude. Okay, so I put this movie on. I don't know what to think. I've never seen it. Never seen mm-hmm. it. I know about it. Sure. Never seen it. And uh, I proceed to watch this movie. You watch all like six hours of it. It's, not, it's, it's like two and a half. <laughs> Josh. I think that the, it's it a long like, movie. It I think like the director's cut is like three hours and 15 minutes, mm-hmm. something like that. So I'm watching this movie and dude, I'm in love with it. Coming from a movie simp that have, hasn't seen very many movies. Well, it's pretty cyberpunk. It's, it's <laughs> fantasy, yeah. man. It's like, it's, it's a 10 year old movie almost at this yeah. point. It's still beautiful. Like it hasn't real. it's not really dated like a lot of other movies from back then. I mean, it, well, you it's, watch it on a small screen. I bet if you put my, that shit on a big screen now, nah. you'd be like, Ugh. No, no way, dude. No. I, I want to see that shit in 3D. Like, I want to drive somewhere that, that just by chance plays it, you know, maybe on the anniversary day of the movie or something in 3D. I want to go see it again. Oh, I saw it in the theater in 3D. You saw it in, like, in yeah. good 3D? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Did you? Yeah. Fuck, where have I been? Well, I'm... <laughs> not in Pandora. I, yeah, I mean, nine years ago when it came out, I mean, that's... Kind of the way it's meant to be seen. Yeah, that's pretty much. It was, the it was way. built up to like you got to see this fucking movie. Well, like what I was telling Robbie the other day is the cameras or the projectors that they use mm-hmm. now for like all movies. Like that movie is the reason why we have these dope ass right. fucking like the curve. James Cameron invented something so he yeah. can make his movie. It was like a weird like it was like three D. It, it looked three D without even having glasses on, and it was like curved too, and. I, I think I saw it. So I don't. I guess it, maybe I didn't see it on in 3D, but it was like it looked 3D. It was fucking sick. Well, it's a it's a 99% CGI world. Yeah, man, I fell in love with it. Fell in love with the with the land of Pandora, and I think I might have fell in love with Natiri. Mm. Dude. Mm beautiful yeah <laughs> she's like how tall are they like 15 they're feet? 12 feet tall 12 feet tall big Damn. big big folk i'm in love with an avatar dude i'm in love with an avatar um so well you're in luck because james cameron is has got like 15 of them in the pike just waiting for you man F- four more movies yeah so let's fast forward <laughs> 10 Watch- years later the second one has came out <laughs> yeah it's so crazy so I watch the movie. I get off the plane. I'm feeling all these emotions, man. Like <laughs> the story, the love story, the battle, the intrigue, the action, the the ecological warfare, man. Mm-hmm. Like I got it. I got it. I was so happy. Mm-hmm. And I, I come home and I and I I want to watch it again. I want to invest three hours of <laughs> my little bit of movie time that I allot myself to watch Avatar again for a second time. So I ordered the collector's edition three Blu-ray set on Amazon. It'll be here tomorrow. So I'm going to give it another viewing, I think. Huh. Th- three Blu-rays for one? Yeah, it's got like movie. different versions. The reason I bought the collector's set on Amazon is because it has all the behind the scenes and the making. Mm. And that was another thing I was intrigued about. As a videographer myself, mm-hmm. I'm really interested in the way that movie was made, yada, 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 yeah. the technology, the CGI, sure. The uh, motion capture, all that stuff. Mocap, yeah, yeah. The mocap, yeah. But man, I loved it, dude. Loved it. I, 
I know Josh, the hater of Montgomery, is always going to hate, hate, hate. I don't want, I wanted to like it. You didn't like it. The, I, you, you lead, this is why I'm surprised you didn't go see it in the theater. The lead up for that movie was, they nuts. just kept shoving it like, you will fucking kill yourself if you don't see this movie. Right. Yeah. You know, like, mm-hmm. you, you're you going to be the dumbest person ever if yeah. you'd wait nine years to go see this movie. Yeah. Robbie waited nine, but it didn't phase him. Yeah. I felt, fuck, I think I got to see this movie. And I have to yeah. like it. And I'm so stoked for it. And I, and I know everyone afterwards, like, it's Fern Gully. The whole time I was watching, like, I've seen this before. Mm-hmm. It was called Fern Gully. It was called all these other like Disney, and it, it borrowed from all of that. Yeah, but borrowed it, from Pocahontas, Danza with Wolves. Yeah, and what Gully. I do like about it, I mean, visually, it was a striking AF movie. Yeah, if I do say so myself, <laughs> if I can adequately put it, <laughs> it was striking AF. Storyline, a little weak. Nah, I mean, acting was pretty shitty. Well, I mean, they're they're not humans, like these beautiful tall blue slender I, tone you know that avatar expressive. wasn't a documentary right <laughs> oh that's not a real i'm sorry place. dude but those were actors you know playing yeah. mocap yeah. mocap yeah. yeah so you know but still so i'm glad you enjoyed it though i fucking yeah. loved it yeah. and this is the depths of my madness mm-hmm. i come back on sunday you painted yourself blue i blew myself <laughs> <laughs> i pooed myself oh no <laughs> I got up from the airport. He was blue. <laughs> I was just like an avatar. No, no. He finished it, goes to the bathroom, and just splashes that blue shit all over his face. <laughs> the toilet water. No. So I was off Monday. I got a day off from work mm-hmm. after my, after traveling back. Mm. I spent hours on my laptop reading about Avatar, reading about the production, reading about the mocap, reading about the actors, reading about the score, mm-hmm. the technology, the cameras, the sequels. Was looking for a photo to go with this week's episode of Boys because I knew I was going to talk about Avatar and mm-hmm. why not put Natiri in the thumbnail? Sure. This beautiful, mm-hmm. kind, strong, sexual, <laughs> dude. They, blue lady. They don't have genitalia. They. I don't care. They fuck with their dreads. Sounds like a win to me. Yeah. So I'm going down this rabbit hole, reading all this stuff, and then I stumble upon, like, the dark side of Avatar. <laughs> oh, like Avatar porn and all that kind of stuff? or Not so much porn. So I, I went, I usually go to Reddit if I'm trying to find some information on something real quick. Fan so I'll just go to the subreddit. So I went to the Avatar subreddit, which is still active. Mm-hmm. And then I found a link to an Avatar message board. Mm-hmm. Flash, a lot of Flash. <laughs> also still active. Mm-hmm. No, it was a beautiful website. It was crazy. So I, I, I was like, I went to like the general room, you know, and, and mm-hmm. it was like picture thread. I was like, dope. I'm going to find a nice high. It was like high res only 1080p at least. Blah, blah, blah. And it's all these people talking about how they want to fuck. <laughs> Not just Natiri, but like Sully, like the old lady avatar, the weird avatars, the monsters from Avatar. What? People being like, speaking in that creepy, like, neckbeard language, like, rawr, like, smiles coyly, tips fedora, like, that kind of shit with, Ugh. like, emojis and stuff. It was dark. And so, b- bronies for Avatar. Yeah. Av- Avatar did? <laughs> I don't know what you'd call yeah. that. What, what is it called when you're sexually attracted to an Avatar? Uh, wrong. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Sad? Sad. That's depressing. Sad. Well... So finally, I was like, I got to go to bed. So I created a name and I immediately found my, my calling. So I scanned my face in, put yeah. it in the template. No, uh, I did think about that today, actually. It was weird. I don't know. Photoshop. Uh, yeah. So Making finally, I was like, I got, I'm, I got my pick. But it was like some of the posts in the thread were like, you can see your nipples in this one. Check it out. And it would be like, freeze frame. And I was just like, wow. Like, yeah, I thought she was cute. Yeah. You know? Whatever. But you're not trying to find nips. No, I just thought, I thought for a computer, she was charming and beautiful and sensual and endearing. Mm -hmm. Caring. You got to stop, dude. (laughs) You're in love (laughs) with a a, a mo-capped fictional character. A series of ones and zeros. Mm -hmm. Not even real. 
Did you not see it coming, though, Josh? What? I did. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I'm like, uh, what well, you just said. But isn't that isn't that real life, though? We're, we're all just a series of ones and zeros, Robbie. So your love for this avatar... Is my love for the world. It's no different than loving another physical human being. Why? Because I could physically reach out and touch this physical person. It doesn't make them any more real than than this. I don't know. Would you fuck an avatar? No. No? Too tall. <laughs> Hold on. That's what's... <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's what's keeping you from... Hey, no, 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 no. In this PC culture... Uh, why, why wouldn't you fuck it just because it's another thing? That is so no, like you. Nobody PC goes, why won't you fuck it? First of all. No, 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 like saying like, oh, you can't be attracted. Why? You can't be attracted to it because it's, it's got feelings just like you. I mean, it speaks to you. It's a, it's a thing because it's not a human being. Quote, what does that even mean? Why? Because they're 12 foot tall and they have three fingers and a thumb and no genitals. You won't fuck it? No, they don't <laughs> say that. No, I wouldn't know to answer your question. Yeah. Would you would you put your consciousness in an avatar and be an avatar and run around in the jungle? And then fuck another avatar? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I would put my con it would be yeah, it'd be neat to see what it's like to be this other thing. Fuck, I'd do it with a dog. If someone was like <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait, 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 hold hold on. on. <laughs> Isolate that. <laughs> 5604. I, I wouldn't have sex with the dog. I'm saying I would put my consciousness in, in a dog just to see what it's like to run around being a dog. All right. You know what I mean? All yeah. right. Backtrack Montgomery over here. <laughs> I don't want to fuck a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let that go on the record. I do not want to fuck a dog. Your Honor, I do not want to fuck a dog. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. You saying you'd fuck a dog or me saying that I'd fuck a computer program. Like It's true. I want to stick my dick in the code. So... Today, do I have to say something weird now, or are maybe. you guys good? <laughs> no, okay. Who who was I talking? Were you in the room today when I was talking about how much I loved Avatar? And somebody said, "You know, they make Avatar fleshlights." Yeah, I was there. Who said oh, I, that? I can guarantee. I can almost guarantee who said that. Something no, like that. No, it was it was Tommy. Okay. It was it was it was our yeah. buddy Tommy McKenzie. He was like he goes. <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> what he said. He goes. I, I, I'm not gonna say this is exactly what he said, but this is what I think I remember what he yeah. said. I think he goes. You know, they make Avatar fleshlights. He's like, I don't know if it's like the pussy or the mouth. And yeah, I was like, what... like it matters if you're fucking a blue silicone. I don't gotta know fuck it. if it's the pussy. Or maybe he said asshole or the mouth. No, no, he said, I think he said pussy. Either or pussy, way. Yeah. Vagina. Yeah. Work. Good work, convo. Yeah. Nay, nay. <clears throat> yeah. Well, okay. I, I, I want to picture him like you're in the other room and he's at his desk like this and he just goes. Hey, you know they have Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> just push the seat you back. Did, like and, the shenanigans yeah, thing. Like, yeah, end of the, end of the door frame. Yeah. It's you funny. know they have flashlights. Th those got to be the easiest like signature flashlights to make. It's like, yeah, no, we just make one look like a vagine we or just a don't. mouth. And then you just make it blue. Yeah, we dip this way. We call, call this one blue. Yeah, like in the <laughs> vat of latex or whatever they make those out of. Yeah. They just had a guy who's like, great idea. Just walk over and put two drops of blue food color in it. Because those are kind of clear, no, too. No, no, it's Avatar. No, it just goes through like, a guy just got like a fucking gun. Like a paint gun that just comes through like, no, nah, don't stay pink. Oh, these are blue? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, those are blue. Somebody wants a purple one. Okay. <laughs> what would that be? Barney. Someone wants to fuck Barney, dude. Right. Who, but would you give the... Barney a bottle? Is is Barney sexless? You don't fuck Barney's, Barney's a mouth, dude. that's for sure. Because he's a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> now, Barney's a dude, right? <laughs> I mean, the name Barney is Barnard. He's Barnard the dinosaur. Or could Barney be Barnisha? Isn't there a, a, a purple, like, old school McDonald's? character that uh, the grimace no, grimace yeah oh, i would not look grimace <laughs> <laughs> again <laughs> not again <laughs> Ooh, speaking of 1990 it was a weird time <laughs> i was always more of a fry guy myself a lot more i thought they were kind of sexy i the thought the fry female, guys? The, the fryettes or the fry oh they the yeah yeah you have to so you have this thing with like uh fictional uh, what's the word i'm looking for Char characters maybe i don't you know. look at them and go that's pretty hot. Well, I so back to the Avatar thing real quick. I tried not to feel any feelings mm -hmm. to Natiri, but 
they make her beautiful on purpose, right? Sure, I mean, right. there's a reason she doesn't look like Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, he, we want, we want him to fuck her later. <laughs> when I was doing my research on Reddit mm-hmm. about the film, mm-hmm. I read an article about James Cameron upping the sexuality of the female avatars, like putting them in skimpier clothing mm-hmm. and making their faces a little more human-like. Yeah. Because he wanted them to be sexy, but mm-hmm. not, but not, not family friendly. Does right. that make sense? Not yeah. like not comic book sexy where they had gigantic tits. <laughs> no, like, dude. She's a total flatty. Yeah. Still 10 <laughs> of 10. Would. Yeah. 10 of 10 would. Well, you're also a fan of Chitara. I I've been known. I've been oh, known. Yeah. What's Chitara? That's, oh, is... well, there's the Thundercats. From the Thundercats. Please Google. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, bro. You computerin'? <laughs> like, Sorry. Ch- Sorry, Dalia. Cheat. C H E E O T A R A H. Yeah, Chitara. Wait, anyway. Maybe just an A, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. What, she, um, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. There she is. Oh, there's, there's a new she, Chitara. Oh. oh. Okay, no, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I got you. <laughs> yeah, Chitara was a babe. She was. She was a cat babe. Is this a cosplay? Damn. Sure is. That that is. Hello. That is a cosplay. Hi. I'll fill it up. Anyways. Hello. <laughs> so you had a good weekend. Yeah, man. You had a great weekend. I did. I did. Dylan, how was your weekend, man? It was pretty good. I turned Better 25. Now. Oh, yeah. You guys both had birthdays. Yeah, we we had, had birthdays and we didn't meet up. And so many birthdays. Uh, right? Well, you should have asked me before. Uh, I did. I we made out. plans. and you. Kids. Oh, hold on. When did we make plans? We said, hey, we sh- you said you're going to be in Tulsa Thursday night, which is our birthday. Uh-huh. I was like, well, Friday. Oh, I'll be back by then. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, did I say right, that? Right in another room. Yeah, man. I just waited. I waited all night. Oh. Dad to jerk off to Avatar porn on the internet. Huh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was uh see I ended up staying longer than I anticipated because I was going to like my best friends are in Tulsa. I don't get to see them all the time. And even when I'm in Tulsa, sometimes I just hang out with the family because it's been a while. Mm-hmm. And so no. um I hit him up and I was like, hey, you guys want to hang out Thursday night or something like that, Thursday, Friday night? And they were like, uh, well, we can't. Like, everyone's going to be like working and stuff like that. So we decided to hang out Saturday. So Friday, stay the night, my little brother's house with his fiance and one of her friends. And like, that was really cool. Hung out with the family on Thursday for my, you know, staying alive for another year. And then Friday, Stayed the night at my best friend's house, stayed up till 6.30 in the morning, uh, went to sleep for about six hours, woke up at noon, and had to just like kind of run around Tulsa. And then Saturday, we uh, wolf packed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wolf parade. <laughs> yeah. Get a crew together. Yeah, no. <laughs> we we went to this place called Our Bar in Tulsa, and it's like a, it's a bar, but- Is that Forrest Gump theme, theme too? No. Damn it. I, f- I fucked up my own joke. Is it that hit movie Ricochet? Is it Ricochet themed? No, nope. it's just uh, Lorenzo Lamas' Renegade. That's that's what it was. It's just a bar. Okay. Uh, they serve some pretty good food, but their beer selection was really cool. I found like my new favorite beer there. Uh, what would that be? Crooked Stave uh, Nightmare on Brett Cherry. That's a very long name. It is. Is it a cherry like a like a like a sour beer? Or a... Yeah. So I'm a I'm a sour boy okay. and. Sour puss. <laughs> <laughs> when you drink this, so like at the very, of like right off the top, it tastes like you're just drinking straight up like liquid warheads. Mm. And then it dissolves into like this oak cherry finish, which is like amazing. And it's like 9.7. It was tight. How many of them did you, did you consume? I just one. I drank one of their beers before that and it was good but don't remember what it was and then this like dude who worked there i was like dude this is really good like i've never heard of this place before and he was like oh dude you should check out this one we have it on tap and i was like okay cool and i guess we kind of looked alike so all my friends were saying like hey dude it's your brother blah 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 and like making fun of me because i can talk to strangers and then he gave <laughs> me that beer and it was fucking dope it was really good you know i would order that Hmm. I'd, I'd go up to the R bar. I'd belly up to the R bar. Mm-hmm. I'd go, can I dang on the cherries? You know, like pootie tang? <laughs> well, first, speaking of 
10 year old movies. Hey, I'm new here. I'm a lone wolf and I want to dang on them cherries. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool. I, did, I mean, it was a good weekend. I didn't really do a whole lot of crazy, exciting things, but I had a really good time. I so think I'm going to st- stop doing crazy. Well, I mean, no, what, what, what is crazy? What yeah. is crazy? What is crazy, Rob? Not going to Bubba Gump or the House of Blues. That's very true. That's not crazy. I'm not doing that. I played it safe. You did by going to the BG company. But in closing, I'll say this. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, I had more fun doing that than the schmoozing after hours of schmoozing. Well, I I would say lone wolf it if you can. Exactly what I was going to say. Fucking lone wolf it. Don't be afraid to go out on your own. There's something for a very long time that I, um, I wouldn't do. Uh, not out of like uh, like uh, some sense of I'm better than that. I just I never wanted to go anywhere by myself because I always felt those people would look at me like, why is he by himself? <laughs> Who fucking cares, cares? dude? I, Seriously, I I highly suggest lone wolfing it as often as possible. Lone when I do the hashtag lonesome brunch, it's not like oh what was me. It's like no, dude, this shit is awesome. Belling up to a bar, getting a nice cup of coffee, some good food. Talk to the bartender. Yeah. Chat. Finish your food. Have a good one. See ya. Dude. Please go. You leave. I've always read it when I see your Lonesome Brunch. I do. Just by nature, I just read it like Lonesome Brunch. I'm yeah. sure that's how most people probably yeah. read that. Mm-hmm. Change that shit to Lone Wolf. I want a Lone Wolf Brunch. Lone yeah. Wolfin. Yeah. Just yeah. Lone, lone Wolfin. Wolf no G. Lone Wolfin. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, and that do it. Fun. It's the shit, dude. And you know what? Maybe it's an age thing. I could give a fuck less if people think I'm weird because I'm by myself. People are by themselves all the time. So Next yeah. time, you got to gotta up the ante. And you got to... Uh, poo? Poo or what? do... Z- hoodie with no stuff, like something. Pop a shirt off. Wear, wear your hoodie just on your head. Dude, and don't put your arms through the seat. And walk in and then you do that and you <laughs> run, you airplane up to the bar. If you lone wolf brunch wearing a hoodie... With no shirt on underneath, I would think that you're a monster person. Like a dude, creep. You Blubber can't even creep. put a shirt on, dude. Like no, I got a hood, dude. It's shirt. It's like a shirt, but with a hood. No, that's. Uh, I mean, you're right, but <laughs> it's weird. Well, I, I've said it before. Like people, I can understand running to like the drugstore because yeah. I'm 90 and I say drugstore. You or or the gas station, but like people that go out in pajama pants. Male or female. People That's who, fucking gross to dude, me. People yeah. who go out wearing house shoes to a bar or a yeah. restaurant. If you're putting... Okay, you wear the Nike slips. Do you wear them shits out in public? Slip. Oh, slides. Yeah. Slip and slides. Do you wear the slides out in public with socks? No. Yeah. Well, I mean... To may, go to the store. To go to the drugstore. If I'm going mm. to the drugstore, the corner store, the, the general st- store. Going to the, the, the fill-up <laughs> station. The fill-in yeah, station. The fill-in station. No, but you wouldn't be like... Oh, it's so and so's birthday. We're gonna meet up at blah blah blah. Okay, ten o'clock at night. Fuck. I'm putting on slips yeah. and slides. I mean, if it's if they're stylish, I get it. If that's part of your like look, yeah. if you're, if you're yeah. like Russell Westbrook, sure, that's cool. Sure. But you like, can just wear whatever. Yeah, and he does. Sport. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. He poo next next season. He's gonna be pooing it just, oh with dick out, just <laughs> dick hanging, just hanging. So you put one of those like sleeve socks on it. Yeah, like he wears on his fucking yeah. elbow. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on so dick. so if you wear pajamas outside of your house getting added to the list oh added to the list get them out yeah if you're get wearing them, them anywhere than the places that we discussed yeah guess what yeah you're on the list yeah, you're on yeah. the list you're out of my life get out of town <laughs> if you pop a shirt off and keep the jeans on you're out of here you're on the list you're on the list see you get out of here. never list. again if you frequent bubba gump shrimp unironically you're out of here i you know, probably because like who's just like going there all the time. Here's the people that go there all the time. <laughs> yeah. So let me know <laughs> after the Polish guy left uh-huh. later in the night, two beers in on my left are two young, very attractive couples like yeah. people you would like watch fuck online, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> You pay a subscription right. service to watch these no, couple well, fucking free. It's all free, but you know that's what mm-hmm. you, uh, most viewed. There yeah. it is. There's tonight's <laughs> there <it> selection. Is. <laughs> Tab over from Avatar and just yeah. finish what I started. Yeah. On my right, two of man, I'm an observist. Okay, yeah. This isn't mm-hmm. being judgmental. I'm just saying what was there. Yeah. Two classic lesbians, just classic middle age 
Pete Rose cut lesbians. <laughs> yeah. Salt and pepper. <laughs> yeah. You know, Pete Rose cut like uh-huh. weird shirts, jeans, Birkenstock yeah. lesbians. Light denim. Light denim lesbians. <laughs> Light for denim. sure. <laughs> Sweet as can be. Yeah. Uh, must have been together a long time because mm-hmm. they were very just themselves. It was adorable. But I was just like, this is weird. Right. Yeah. Like, the juxtaposition for sure. And yeah. you're just right there like, hmm. <laughs> you know, it was a real jambalaya of culture. Ooh, man. I wouldn't frequent, though. For the record. Yeah. I had to do it. I had to I go. Know. When in Rome. Yeah. It was, it was literally sure. calling you. When in Greenbow is what I say. <sighs> hmm. It sounds fun. I'd go once. I've never been. We're go. There's not probably not a lot of vegetarian options. Oh, there's probably none. I've never been to California. Ever? Never once. No, I want to go. I've been three times now. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I've been to Florida fucking three times. Nah. Well, see, okay, so Kate and I were talking. She's she's a big Potterhead, right? Uh huh. She wants to go to Disney World. Right, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? I just found out yesterday in my research. What? Disneyland, they have an avatar exhibit now. Nice. And it looks fucking dope because yeah. I watched a 35 minute documentary on it <laughs> on YouTube last yeah. night before I went to bed. Dude, do they have like Potter World too? They Is do. They, it's, it's called the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. There's I a, went. There's a Potter in land. It's land, smaller, but it's not the legit one. Yeah. See, I've been to the one at Universal. That's the one that Kate wants yeah, to go to. That shit in... is fucking dope. I But I is it there. Avatar? No, but what I'm saying is like <laughs> Is you, it Pandora? You, you just get tickets for the both of you. You you guys go to, you know, Disneyland and you go to the Avatar and then fucking pop on over to Universal. Cause that shit's tight. Oh wait, you're talking in California? Uh, I was talking about. I don't know why I was talking about. Yeah, Florida they, still. This is by coastal. No, you can't do all coastal that boys noise. here. At the Universal Studios in sunny California. I thought it was Florida. They have multiple Universal. Oh, so. The one in California. It's Universal Studios. They have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is it's been, and right next to it is Springfield. You can go to the Springfield. You want to see some Simpsons things. Yeah. Get your picture taken with Bart or Homer or Lisa or any other Simpsons character. Marge, Selma, Marge. Patty, well, Mr. Burns, Smithers, we all know Bob, the characters. Krusty the and then you, but you can but then you you know you go over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and you can, you know, ride a ride with Harry Potter and then the redhead fella and then Dweezley and, and Schmobabs. Dweezley? Dweezley and Dude, Schmobabs. Come on. Yes. The house My two favorite. Sli- Slitherings. The Slitherings. You can I go hate, to those. I hate you. I, if but it's, if it's anything like the one in Florida it is. It's a smaller version of that. And think, then you can go yeah. to the Avatar exhibit and see the Avatar. You can ride the Transformers ride if you want. It's terrible. It's very terrible. It's so bad. Most of the rides there are terrible. You sit in a thing and you're watching a television screen. We yeah. talked about this several a- anything times. Anything that's not a roller coaster there, add it to the list. The except for, <laughs> yeah. except the list. for the Spider-Man ride that they have in Florida. I don't know if they have it at uh, California, mm-hmm. but that is the only like roller coaster that's also a stupid fucking movie that's worth fucking right. that's worth it yeah that one's cool one last thing i saw it on the very bottom here i wanted to bring this up before we wrap this shit up um there's some stuff on this list. so house of blues is one of those like you know it, it's again it's a bubble gump or whatever but they think they're bigger than they are better cooler than they are there's a bathroom there it's got two shitters and one urinal so it's really small but there's a bathroom attendant in there Packed in, just packed, packed, packed in. in the corner. And here's the thing: so you walk to the sink, and this motherfucker <laughs> will squeeze soap in your hand, and as you're putting water on it, he'll throw you a towel, like a paper towel, like saying, "I don't, I'm not giving you money." Yeah, was that worth yeah. a dollar? No. But why? Why is it still a thing? This is an outdated, archaic job. I get it. I get Don Julio and 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 Pete Sampras, and these guys need jobs. You know, it's gross. I feel like that's the only job you can still tip somebody a nickel. You know, yeah, you're gonna shine my hey, shoes. This is what you fucking did, man. Dude. You got condoms on you, or you got something else that I can use? <laughs> you, no, I don't want some random cologne. No, yeah. don't, and, and don't spray me with without asking. Yeah. Your office is literally a shithole. <laughs> yeah, gross. Yeah, like, and I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking the employee. I'm knocking the employer. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stop. Stop. I don't need it. I how don't need a, it. How about a kiosk right outside the bathroom? Why is it got to be standing right next to the sink? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's fucking weird. You just listen to people fart all day. Mm-hmm. Cause you you go into a bathroom at any public place, like a male a men's bathroom, and like I've said before, mm-hmm. I was I think I was talking about that about last year's Nam. It's a fart symphony in there. Yeah. It's just it's just farting assholes. Yeah, you know? dueling dueling uh, farts. Yeah. It sounds like a fucking fart orchestra in there. That's it's so crazy. Gross. And he just sits in it and he's sniffing farts all day long. He's breathing farts mm-hmm. for eight hours a day or four hours. <laughs> and whatever. how much money is he going to walk out That's with? A shitty job. None for me. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> it is. I'm just saying, bathroom attendants, get him out of here. Yeah. Add, Add it to the, the list. list. Add it to the list. All right. Yeah. All right. It's, it's stupid. That's stupid. Really, I feel like the only reason why he's there is to make sure you wash your hands. Because there's no way you're not washing your hands. <laughs> oh, I saw a lot of dudes that not do it. There's at least one dude who fucking knows this fucking gross ass didn't wash his hands. I saw a dude who probably pops his shirt off and and just wears his wide leg jeans at his house. He's this <laughs> kind of guy. He was probably about six foot two, comes out of the shitter. I'm waiting for a bathroom. Anything to pop it, please. I I got a pee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've drank seven bunch of drinks. So this dude comes out and not only, he walks out and then picks. He puts his beer. He grabs his beer off of the the toilet paper roll thing. Open, not a can, a beer, cup of beer. Mm-hmm. He took it to the shit. <laughs> with them. Dude, he's drinking shit. And then he just starts drinking it, and then like proceeds to just walk out the door. And I'm like, whoa. Okay, you may have just been pissed in there. One. Why are you bringing an open container into you just shit there? That's what the attendants for. Pass it off. Like, yeah. hey, hold my beer. I got a shit. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Keep my beer safe. But now washing your hands. Yeah. Add that guy to the list. Add, yeah. You're added oh, to the list. Sure. Get out of here. So yeah. there are people that don't wash their hands. They don't. But those are just garbage people who are going to do that anyway. Dude, I. it's so gross. Anytime I see it, like anytime I'm in the bathroom and somebody doesn't wash their hands and it's like, oh, I just pissed. Look, man, I don't want to touch your dick on any fucking door handles because you're fucking gross. Add them to the list. If you don't wash your hands when you <laughs> add piss, his dick to the list, too. dude, this I'm just saying, like, even if like you're the coolest dude, I don't fucking care. You got to wash your hands if you touch your fucking cock and balls, dude. Question. Do you do that at home? Yeah, okay. I wash my hands all the time because I don't want Robbie touching my dick by mistake. You Only know. on purpose. Okay, well, no. if you lived by <laughs> your, mouth. If you yeah. lived by yourself, would you wash your hands after you peed? Yeah. No, I'm I would just wrap my I'm dick around the doorknob. Yeah. I'll open the door with my dick and balls. I don't. But what if you got guests? <laughs> then they're just. It's my dick. Would you clean your house? <laughs> my, my house, dick. my dick. My, hey, my house, <laughs> my dick. My lack of shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, we could uh, definitely like a shirt. Shirt tails. That's what it is. <laughs> it's shirt tails. <laughs> All right, dudes. Yeah. We got to wrap it up. All right. We'll be back again next week. Email your thoughts on Avatar to boys at boyspodcast.com. I'd love to hear what you think. Until next week. Bye.